What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Pepper Forward. My name is Brian Huff, and today we've got a little bit uh, of an unboxing and a review. So let's get into it, shall we? All right, here we go. So we got our new box from Heatness here, the Stay Spicy logo on the outside. The first one, actually, that was coming to me got lost in the mail. So I was very excited to get this one in. Oh, man. And the insides are a little bit disheveled. The boggles have come loose in the box just a little bit. So let me try to move them around here. You can see they got this uh, little write-up that comes out and explains uh, a little bit about the sauces that are in the box. And then, of course, you've always got your Heatness logo sticker. And then there will be a specialty sticker. And this one's Apollo. And that's actually the whole reason I signed back up with Heatness.com was because of this one sauce. Uh, all right, so here's this first box that I've got in. Uh, we've got Dawson's, and we've got a Shaquanda's, and we have the Apollo Last Dab. That's the one that I'm after right there. Um, Shaquanda's, is that the uh, oh West Indian curry sauce? Okay. I thought I actually had the sauce already uh, from this one, but I do not. So, and there we got Dawson's hot sauce, a shawarma sauce. So there we go. That's three sauces I don't have. I am excited because I thought for sure I had this one. I knew I didn't have this one, um, and for sure didn't have the the new last dab. So um, let's <laughs> let's knock everything over. Let's start off with the Apollo last dab. The Apollo pepper has been carefully bred and nurtured by Hot Ones mad scientist Smokin' Ed from prized strains of his famed Carolina Reaper and Pepper X. Apollo brings the heritage to new heights of capsaicin, packing more concentrated punch than any of its forebearers. The flavor of the Apollo comes from the sweetness of the Carolina Reaper, tinged with the earthiness of Pepper X. Okay. Let's stop for a moment. Since when were Carolina Reapers sweet? <laughs> I've, I've I've not gotten sweetness from Carolina Reapers before. Maybe it's just me, but uh, I think that's kind of funny. The sweetness of Carolina Reapers, the earthiness of Pepper X. I haven't got to try Pepper X, so I don't know what to uh, what to expect there. The, but the sweetness of Carolina Reapers is kind of making me laugh. Um, <laughs> it's a culinary powerhouse. The heat profile of the Apollo is akin to having your head slowly lit a flame. Slowly lit a flame. Not just suddenly burst into flames, but slowly like you're, you know, you're damp and they're having trouble getting your head to catch fire. Slowly lit a flame. Um, where was I? You feel the fire consume your entire skull, your tongue smolders, Burning tears pour from your eyes, and five minutes later, the ride is over. Your heart rate returns to normal, and the panic subsides. This pepper is like no other. Let's see, shall we? Um, that's a really great write-up, uh, Heatnist, or whoever wrote that. That's a really great write-up for a hot sauce. Uh, you have piqued my interest. Um, so... I'm not even messing around. We're going straight into the Apollo last dab. I'm not fooling with anything else right now. I want to know, is the hype real? Because uh, let's face it, the other last dabs are really good hot sauces. I like them. I like all of them. As a matter of fact, um, I don't think there's a last dab that I didn't like. Um... Heat level, though, it's funny to me because the last dabs don't always seem like they're the hottest sauce in the lineup like they should be, but it may just be me because my tolerance is weird. Um, so uh, let's see if the Apollo last dab lives up to the hype. And uh, so we've got our spoon set up over here and pop it open. Oh my God. Okay. It smells really hot. Are we going to be able to, Oh, we're actually going to get a pour out of, 
What? Okay, whoa. Look at this. That is straight up pepper mash, guys. There's a bunch of seeds in this. Um, the texture is insane. Let me go back over to uh, to this camera real quick. Um, and shout out to Dawson's for the really cool wax seal with the pre Look at that. That's super cool. I like that on Dawson's little thing there. Well, I'll do individual reviews on everything. But this one right here is the one. Yeah, look at that. You can see all that texture in there. All those bits and pieces floating around. I think I'd get a viable seed out of that and grow an Apollo. <laughs> Probably not. But, guys, this looks terrifying. And I'm going to tell you, I've been through all the last abs before. I don't remember a last dab having this particular type of hot smell to it. It smells really hot. You can smell all the peppers. Let's dive into the ingredients list before we try this thing. Ingredient number one, the Apollo pepper. Hmm. Ingredient number two, distilled vinegar. Uh, and Apollo pepper powder, Apollo pepper distillate okay so every form of apollo pepper is in this thing and my sinuses are a little bit like not functioning well today let's see if this fixes it i feel like i'm about to eat a lot of words <laughs> cheers let's see what we got okay Mm -hmm. Tastes like super hots. It did have some sweetness up front. <laughs> it's long gone. Okay. Heat just exploded from that. Okay. Just tastes like super hot peppers. I'll be honest with you. This is the first last dab that I'm not super crazy about the flavor of. It was very obviously not made for flavor. It was made for heat. And it's very hot, very mouth burning, uh, tongue, roof of the mouth, anywhere it touched is just on fire. Uh, it's actually burning me right here in the pit of my stomach now already, which makes me nervous. Um, my eyes are going a little bit. <sighs> wow, that's hot. This reminds me very, very much of uh if you saw my past videos the the mustache the mighty mustache had a challenge this tastes just like it insanely like it and that was uh in a lever oh uh, a super hot salt wow i can't talk guys this is no joke <sighs> congrats he heatnist uh and smoking ed curry this is the last dab we've been waiting for. This is hot. Oh, wow. Um, heat level? I'm trying to get a fix on it, man. It's rising. Uh, kind of sweating a little bit. I'd say this is a solid seven for me. Solid seven. If you are not used to hot sauces... If you do not eat spicy food, do not eat this sauce because it will ruin what could be a wonderful journey for you into the world of hot sauces. This is not where you start. That's why it's called the last dab. <laughs> it's not the first. Um, Flavor-wise, I don't know that I would use this on anything other than just to hurt people. Other than if I was going to put this in food, this is going to go in uh, soups and chilies and stews and maybe, I can't get over it. I'm shocked. I'm I'm really surprised. Um, I'm creeping up to an eight. This is no joke. This sauce is hot. Um, 
But I'm sorry, the flavor, I mean, it's just, it's super hot. I mean, come on, they're not made for flavor. Let's not fool anybody. They didn't make these and go, these will taste great. No. They made them and said, these are going to hurt. That's what they're made for. Uh, so in that instance, they work quite well. Oh, man. It's fixing my sinuses, I got to tell you. Um, wow. Wow. Okay, so now I think back to all the episodes of Hot Ones I've been watching where people reacted to this. I mean, it's in my ears. Um, my ears are actually hot. And, uh, wow, hats off, guys. That's no joke. The Apollo Last Dab. Get it from Heatness.com. Not a sponsor. Uh, I'm just a big fan of what they do. Um, I'm a big fan of all the, uh, the work they've done in the hot sauce community with bringing together all kinds of amazing sauces from places. Someone like me that lives in a rural area would never find if it wasn't for someone curating and bring them to it, the attention of, of people like me that love hot sauce. So, uh, hats off to them and hats off Ed Curry. Smoking Ed, you did it again, dude. This thing is a beast. This is hot. It's not it's not letting go of me either. It's not backing down. Um, I'm still sitting at probably a solid six, six and a half in heat. It's just lingering. Um, wow, that's incredible. So, everybody, there will be links in the description if you want to check out uh, the Apollo Last Dab or any of the other amazing sauces that Heatness has curated um from amazing places also link in smoking ed curry and uh shout out to heat 101 uh they work there with smoking ed curry now guys if you hadn't checked out heat 101 channel what are you doing here go check out their channel it's amazing great content great people and uh shout out to all my pod people all those guys incredible people also link in the description to the pod people um where i have at my website a directory of most of the content creators from there Another great group of pepper growers, sauce makers, and just all in all great people. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. I will see you on.